What's going on, everybody? Don't know what day I'm actually posting this video because I remember where I left off and doing all the video uploads for the week. But this is my last modern order that was left of the PSA backlog. I still got one ultra modern left. And by then, they should almost be pretty much cleared up uh, with that last ultra. I, I would probably say maybe a, they have a couple weeks worth left after that at the most. But um, no particular order on this stuff. A lot of these cards I just threw in because we had to make the limits for it. And let me pull my camera up just a tad here. Bert, there we go. Um, so, custom a lot of the stuff I pulled. A lot of this stuff. I think I almost pulled all of this. So, let's start off here. 94 Fleer Superstars. This is a card I pulled out of a box. Scotty Pippen. This was an insert. The Superstars. Came back at 8. Came back at 8. A little something inside there. Um... What was that out of Ultra? Nope, it's Fleer. This is Ultra. Another one I pulled. Nine. Shaq Rebound Kings. Pretty cool looking. Something different. Magic Uniform and stuff like that. The next two cards I bought in a lot of Jordans. And I was hesitant to send them in, but they look decent. I thought they were both eights. First one, PSA 8, Michael Jordan Hologram. This is the award winner number four. Or no, number one. I'm sorry, this is number one. So it came back in eight. I mean, these these here not being graded and sitting around for 20-some years, real hard grades. You can find somebody that gets a 10 on one of these, shake their hand, do whatever, man. I'm telling you, hard grades. Especially now. Heck, you might want to buy them a case of beer, celebrate. Don't worry, I wasn't that guy. No, I don't the other one. Wasn't trying to get a case of beer out of anybody. But um, this is the award winner number four. Did come back a nine. Uh, really surprised. I didn't think I had it in me to have a nine on one, but came back, which is good. It's still like 60 bucks as a nine, I think. 60, 70, something like that. Uh, 93 Ultra Jordan. I believe this was in the same lot of cards that I put, bought. Nine as well, too. Kind of expected it. Again, we had to get 25, I think it was, minimum into it, and I took whatever I had left going in. Fleer Vision. Man, I'll tell you what, these are hard to 10. Um, you guys seen I did the Bo Jackson a while back at 9. Greenwell. I like the Greenwell. Check this one out. Let me get it focused here. Too much shiny stuff. Just a real cool looking piece. 8. Uh, it's still worth more than what uh paid for grading, so. Roger Clemens did get a 9. Mint 9. You know, if I'm watching this video, I'm probably like, did he actually 10 anything? I did have a few 10s. I just don't know where they're at. I just threw them, took them out, put them in cases, did the video. Matter of speaking of a 10, Lonzo Ball, Rookie Kings, from Don Russ, PSA 10. No idea what these are worth. I didn't look them up. Only a couple cards I know the values of. Like that Clemens, I believe, is around 80-ish. It might be a little bit more. It could be a little bit less. Two. If you guys remember, whenever I found that box, it uh, was when I used to break with, like, Platinum and um, uh, Bates. And there was some at G1. I'm sorry. I had to think of my three guys I was breaking with back then. Uh, we never really did much with these Silver Prism rookies from 2017. They were scarce, far in between. I found out probably about, what was it, eight, I think, Mahomes Silver Prisms. Oh, my goodness. Um, I had some Juju's I found. I found some TJ Watts and, I, and stuff like that there. And I took the best ones and set them in. These, I thought, were not going to 10. They were very, very borderline. But they came back 10s. These are about 50 bucks a piece. Uh, now he's playing with good old, uh, was it Kyler Murray? I think the guy's name and the team out there, Kyler Murray. So two tens, fifty bucks a piece. They were in, they were in a box, man. They were in a box. And you know, if I have a Juju, I have to have at least one TJ ten. Around two hundred for these still. Shares a sack record. I still call shenanigans on the one they should have gave him for a sack, but hey, we'll see what happens. Finally, pulled this myself, Bo Jackson. This is the old uh, football, baseball, black and white from 90 score, PSA 10. I was surprised. I figured these had to be like 100, 120 bucks. I figured they had to drop two. Nope. 
still around 200 bucks, 190, 200, some 205. So overall, not bad. I mean, pulling this in the uh, watt. I mean, I didn't have many cards in this order, but I'd probably say either one of these definitely paid for the order with profit, and the rest are just even more profit. But not too bad overall. Wanted to share it real quick. Um, I think this is a Saturday video, so if it is, I may come on live Sunday for whatnot. If it's a Sunday video, I probably already was live for whatnot. I'm thinking about doing a Sunday stream, though, either way or whatnot. We'll see how I feel after the show in Lexington on uh, Saturday. I'm trying to get a little R&R &R because four would be five straight weeks of me setting up at a show. I have not done that in ages. Um, we used to do what we called a road show years ago, me and a couple guys. And we would go and, like, leave out on a Friday night. Sometimes they would do, like, a Friday thing for uh local up in atlanta area so it start at like six to ten or six to midnight <laughs> and then you had a show in that same place that saturday and possibly somewhere else on sunday in atlanta then we'd drive out go to like north carolina or tampa the next weekend stuff like that but it's been a long time since i've done it like I mean, I've done back-to-back -back weeks before, but I don't know if I don't think I've done five weeks straight setting up. But I want to see current trends and stuff, just for my knowledge. I like I said, I'll put each video out, then we'll do a recap after the five weeks of what I see. So basically, it goes Louisville, Lexington, Salem, Indiana, which is like probably maybe a half hour north of Louisville. But you'll have different people at each one. Back to the same Louisville place, and then like a two and a half hour. West Drive out to Newburgh, Indiana. But just trying to see current trends just to get an idea, feel for how everything's going out there. All right, everybody, if you've been listening to me blab this long, I appreciate it. Take care. Have a good, safe Memorial Day out there. I'll see you guys next video.